All right, it's uh, 4 a.m. and uh, I guess I did my best for the evening. So uh, this video is about sleep and I got bipolar. So uh, if anything, bipolar is a sleep disorder. You know what I mean? At its root, if I can take care of the sleep, I almost have virtually no symptoms. Um, you know what I mean? But with that said, getting the sleep is just it's it's the lifelong goal you know what i mean it's uh, there's no uh easy way to do it but there there is um it's just sleep when uh my body wants to sleep so just real fast i guess uh where when my body wants to sleep i would say on average is uh about 6 a.m kind of like right when the sun starts to pop up i can just go to sleep and get conked out till uh probably about 5 p.m you know what i mean i can probably just sleep all day you know i'm mean, usually six to three but uh even six to five that's that's 11 hours of sleep so we're really talking that i can get easily nine ten eleven hours of sleep if i sleep during the day um with that said this video is like well uh the hardest time for me to sleep is actually just kind of that normal bedtime like go to bed at nine and that's kind of what we we were pretty good. We were, we were getting ready to go to bed at 9, and we probably went to bed at 10. Um, but, uh, holy Toledo, I'll just sleep for two hours and then wake up. And, and so, like, tonight, it was, yeah, probably sleep for, sleep, sleep till 11, wake up. And then, uh, you know, the body just, if it gets two hours of sleep in that zone, I'm just wide awake. Where, if I sleep during the day, like go to bed at 6 a.m., yeah, I'll wake up, go to the bathroom, but, uh, no, I'm just a zombie. I'm just like, mm, and then go back to sleep. It, like, it ain't no thing. So it's a huge difference, and I have absolutely no idea what causes that difference. I think, um, uh, well, one, uh, maybe two. Bipolar is just really difficult. Again, it's a sleep, kind of like the, the sleep component of the mental illness of bipolar. That's, that's, that's the hugest part. Where a lot of people probably just get substandard sleep and just put it on repeat. But five, five now going on almost seven years ago, man, I just had one, one episode on a river trip, you know what I mean, in front of like 17 people. Where it's just, I go full schizophrenic, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I'll call it out, you know, I don't get invited to dinner parties with that group no more, you know what I mean? So, it, yeah, by, mental illness will ruin your life, you know what I mean? Uh, you'll lose friends, and then you'll find the friends that actually don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? So, and those are probably gonna be your true friends. Uh, but yeah, life's hard, life's hard, you know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, it was from that point on that I'm just like, no, no, no. I'm going to devote my time to figure out the sleep component of the bipolar. And uh, so I just I just did it. I just, for five years, I'm just like, I'm going to sleep when my body wants to sleep. And when I did that, hell yeah, we got into zombie mode. We, we'd go to sleep at 6 a.m. and uh, go zombie. And then uh, wake up about, uh, you know. And then sometimes that would change. Sometimes I'd even sleep a little longer or go to bed you know, about 10 a.m. or something, anywhere in that window. But then I, I would I would work from 3 a.m., you know what I mean? I would just work in the evening time, 11, 11 p.m. To, to, to all night. I was usually driving out to a cabin, but, uh, but yeah. Then, then my body kind of started deteriorating a little bit, a lot of back pain. But, man, we're, we're getting a little bit better on that. Uh, that was like a two-year where it was real bad. It was just like, damn. You know what I mean? So it's always hard in life where you have like compounding things. You're like, well, I have a mental illness component, but now I got like physical pain. And it's just like, well, I could handle one, but like now, now when two of them are just real bad together, it's just like, ooh, it's throwing the towel time sometimes. Um, but anyway, so, uh, I not, you know, sometimes I don't care if I get, that was why I wanted to do this video. It's like, sometimes I don't care if I only got, so tonight we got five hours of sleep, maybe like four and a half, but you know what I mean? Like, it's for, I ain't getting back to sleep, so we're just going to ca call it. And that's the hardest thing with mental illness, too, and bipolar, is to be like, what, I have to do my whole day-to-day -day right now with only just, like, substandard sleep? Like, uh, sometimes for me, it's just like, no, it's like, it's either like a red flag, or like a, 
That's why I do take mental illness days where it's just like, hey, in about three days from now, yeah, I'll, I'll get, I'll start to get on a cycle where I can get uh, deeper sleep. And uh, I mean, if that makes sense, I could just go back to the cycle of like going to bed at six, going zombie style, sleeping 10 hours. Yeah, so let's get back to that. So for five years there, I, I really did. I dug my heels in. I was just like, how, what's the best time to get sleep? And that was it. I even did uh, two years of sleep. Every time I would uh, wake up and go to bed, I would write in the hour. And we got that digitized. It was just fascinating. It was just like, uh, um, yeah, and those were the prime times. I could get 10 hours of sleep solid. Uh, but then if I had to, you know, wake up for something during the day, uh, that was challenging. So that's always the challenge if you got like a doctor's appointment, that aspect. And then there, with that sleep kind of study or whatever, there was an element where, you know, just, just sometimes if I, if I missed the six o'clock train, because it's like the day is starting and it's just like, nope, I missed that bus. You know, sometimes I like to think of it, sleep is a bus. You know what I mean? For people with mental illness, that bus is only going to come once, twice, maybe three times a day. And two of those times you just never thought of to go, you know, to go on the sleep bus. Uh, but if you miss that, you know, maybe like hour window, sometimes it might be as big as an hour. Sometimes it might just be like a five minute. Hey, if you don't get to bed in this five minute window, you're going to wake up again. Um, so that's, that's, that's a pretty good analogy. You know, the little sleep buses. And if you got mental illness, you don't have many coming your way. Uh, so yeah, so I guess the other aspect of that sleep study is like, yeah, there was like 36 hours, you know, there was times where it was just like, damn, you know what I mean? I didn't get to sleep at 6 a.m. And I've, and I've already been up for 16 hours at that point, you know what I mean? So then once 5 p.m. rolls around, that's going to be the 16 plus 8, that's 24 hours up. And guess what? Let's say I just can't get to bed at night. So then I, I, I uh, 5 uh, p.m. to uh, 5 a.m. That's another 12 hours. You know what I mean? And maybe 16. So, so you, got, you got 24 plus 16. That's 30. So there's just a real... Uh, my arm's getting tired. Um, yeah, so th there was definitely periods there where it's just like, nope, I was up for 30 hours. Which is it's just a little bit... It's too much. It's too much for the body to handle. But at the end of the day, it's just like there's, you don't have a choice. Like I said, people with mental illness, sometimes they might be getting, you might be getting two hours of sleep a night just on repeat. And that's, that's insano. You know what I mean? So that's why, I, I don't know, I don't mind making a video like this and be like, well, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Have you tried everything? But anyway, no, this video is for about me because it's just like, I don't know. Do you think I could put in the effort? to turn in like a, a 9 to 10 o'clock, just a normal, go go to bed at a normal time and get better at that quality of sleep. Like go to bed at 9, 10, uh, but then kind of sleep through the night. Because historically it's like go to bed for two hours and it's just like my body just wants to wake up and not get to back to bed. And that's that's never good on your psyche when you're just, you know, can't get back to bed uh, I, I never let my body do that. I think it was just mentally horrible. Um, but we, we try, you know, and even last night, I was just like, yep, uh, you know, so I, I probably got to bed twice. So that's, that's skills. That's skills in the right direction. I couldn't get to bed uh, the th third time, you know what I mean? I was going to wake up at 6 a.m. anyway. But yeah, about 3.30, now nah, it was over. It was over. So anyway, so uh, I don't know. I, I find this I find this video satisfying to make, and you know what I mean. We're up. Might as well make a video. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, I think I think we're done. Uh, under ten minutes. That's what I wanted to share, and that was pretty good. That kind of gives you the full rundown of bipolar sleep, and then this little like little treat of be like, whoa, you were able to sleep. From 6 a.m. to like, uh, you know what I mean, 6 p.m., like sometimes 12 hours solid, uh, even when you didn't even need to sleep. But no, I was just total zombie, you know what I mean? Um, but when life, you know what I mean, I might want to do something during the day this week. And so, uh, 
yeah, you, you have to flip your schedule or get less sleep. You never get more sleep and then go, you know what I mean? I, I can never sleep 16 hours and then just wake up at, uh, you know what I mean? Go to bed at 6 a.m. and then sleep 24 hours and then wake up at 6 a.m. again and start my day. Now, that would be a treat. Uh, but no, I mean, theoretically, the longest I can sleep in that zombie mode is about 14. And, and there, there's just no way I could sleep past that. And, uh, and even just being up, your body has a biological clock that if you're just up for 16 hours, yeah, that's when you kind of get tired. So, uh, oh, but yeah, so in that, in that zombie mode, uh, morning sleep, you know, sleep during the day, hell yeah. I, I, I would be up for a consistent 16 hours and then get real tired and then go to bed at 6 a.m. So that, that would be the only time where I felt like I could do the 16 up, 8 hours sleep. Um, uh, all the other times, uh, man, no, the body wants two hours of sleep, and, uh, and that, that was, yeah, we'll keep, we'll, we'll go another minute, because the first couple years with having the symptoms of bipolar, you know what I mean, and the kind of the diagnosis, it, it, that, that was it, I mean, just trying to go to bed at a normal time, yeah, it was two hours, two to four, like, the four hour mark was just like, that's the bipolar, that's the manic window, is like when your body consistently says four hours is all I need, you know what I mean, and then just wakes up charging, you know what I mean. You you it can you can't you can't sustain that, you know what I mean. Your body will try into manias and all that, but it's just not good. Um, so that's so that's the other aspect of it. It's just like well, why don't you just why don't you just go to bed at nine p.m. every night and then just uh, just try your best. Well, yeah, for five years, I tried my best and, and landed in the hospital. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there is an element of that. It's just like, nope, there is a need for sleep, and I just find cr creative ways to get it. Uh, so, yeah, that, 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 was, that, was, that was a good, uh, good addendum to this video. All right, but we, we got to cut it. It's, it's 12 minutes. All right, thanks for joining me, and that's a video.